Right everyone, welcome back to part two of the blackout video. Um, the results basically. Uh, I'm gonna unwrap the tank, it's been four days now, uh, no light, no interaction with the tank whatsoever. Um, making sure it's all covered up, but that's not gonna change anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna unwrap the tank. Um, I'm gonna do a massive water change. I'm gonna trim the plants because they're probably gonna be looking a little bit leggy where they've been trying to get towards any kind of light. Um, and yeah, I'll give the, the tank a good clean up. I've also got some rummy nose tetros, which are gonna be the first fish to go into this tank. So I'm gonna move them into it. A small shoal, which will get us underway with this tank, get some life into it, get some movement. Um, I don't wanna go for hundreds of pounds worth of fishing in case there's any issues. Um, I do my usual water tests. I know the filter media is up to scratch. Shouldn't be any ammonia in the tank, but still, I like to start slow and build it up. Um, so yeah, stick with it, here we go. Right everyone, as you've just seen, I've just uncovered the tank and the results are great. Um, I'll include some close-ups now as I talk just to show you what I'm on about, but there is a little bit of hair algae still around. There's a, a large strand up here that was siphoned off quite easy. What you can see is any minor bits that remain are really dull in colour, almost white, which means it's, it's kind of dead. Hopefully I've got a Siamese flying fox floating around in here. He's going to now finish off their last bits. Um, I will add some Amanos, I will add some pots of Simplis. All the usual cleanup crew will go into this tank. So over time, as algae develops, if it develops, the creatures will actually eat it. Um, yeah, so really good. The main thing to see is that the plant health is great. So you'll see these stems in the background have become leggy. Like I said, this is because of the lack of light, uh, lack of CO2. It's not hurting the plant in the short term that we're doing this blackout. Um, but it is making it grow a bit leggy, so that's fine. I can now trim them to a better shape and they'll grow back and bounce back twice as good. Some of the moss has started to grow, it's quite big now compared to when I uh, attached it to the wood. That all needs a trim. Um, but the main thing is the cyanobacteria is now gone. Any kind of um, algae we have growing down on the boots of philandra or on the ferns, it's gone. So it's really good news overall. Um, next up, I'm going to give the tank really good water change, give it a bit of a scrub around, trim up some of them stems, and then like I said, add some fish. There we have it guys, so as you've seen, I've just done a large water change, uh, wiped down the glass, but to be honest with you, the whole point of this blackout treatment is to kill off any algae anyway, so there shouldn't be much. It's just good practice, once you've had the tank down for a while, the plants are gonna release some kind of organic matter where they're kind of starting to break down, so we just wanna give the tank a nice drain, fill it back up, 
Um, I have added some rubby nose tetras, you can't see them at the moment because they're kind of hovering at the back there. I'll turn the lights off after this video, give them 24 hours to settle in. Um, but all in all, really good results. And like I said, that's four days. So from start to finish, this treatment has pretty much eradicated 99% of the algae in this tank. Now, like I said at the beginning, it's all about finding what's causing that algae. So there's always a reason behind it, say uh, imbalance of some kind. So for me, it was the fact that I didn't realize my fertilizer wasn't going in. So for about a week, I wasn't feeding the plants. I had plenty of light, plenty of CO2, but not enough food. So they started to decay, algae took grip, and that's why I kind of got the problems I had. I've sorted that out now. I've got fertilizer feeding into here without any issues. I've got the CO2 back on get my light back on its schedule and uh, yeah fingers crossed we're going to see an improvement and we're going to continue on the right track now uh, but I'm really pleased with it thanks very much for watching like always give us a thumbs up give us a subscribe it's really handy for getting my videos out there I want to make more uh, but I need to be motivated to do that so I need to keep getting more followers so thank you very much for watching hope it's helped bye bye